I'm not sure who needs to hear this message. But God wants you to stop living in fear. I pray that you stay until the end of this video. Because I feel like it's going to help you out, alright? There was once a lady that had went to the grocery store. And before she went in the grocery store, you know what I'm saying, she was looking through her coupons. You know, so she's sitting there going through all her coupons. And in her mind, she like, I sure hope nobody don't shoot me today. Now, that's kind of extreme, right? But keep in mind, all she had been consuming herself with is negativity, the news, reading articles about how mean the world is. And that's all she did. Like, she ain't get into a Bible. She just consumed herself with the chaos that's going on in the world. So the whole time she thinking, I hope I don't, I hope somebody don't shoot me today. So she went in there with all her coupons. You know what I'm saying? She went, got some eggs, bacon, toast. You know how it is. Got her groceries. She came back, loaded it all up in her trunk, sat back in the driver's seat and sat there and said, oh man, I sure hope nobody don't shoot me today. And lo and behold. All you heard was a loud pop. Well, all she heard was a loud pop. And she leaned back and said, oh, my goodness. Oh, right in my arm, right in my arm. And she laid back in the seat. And keep in mind, ain't nobody, nobody in the parking lot heard the noise but her. So she laid back and said, ah, my arm, my arm, man. Holding her elbow. She laid there about 30 minutes. And after everything settled down, she looked around. She ain't seen nothing on her elbow. She like, hold on, I thought I might have been bleeding, man. What? I thought somebody count me out here, man. Look in the elbow. She ain't seen nothing. She pulled a little mirror down, looked at herself. I said, I still look the same. I mean, I'm trying to see what. Hold on, let me check behind me. She turned around and looked. Boy, it was a little pack of biscuits that had exploded in her back seat. She had, you know how it is you leave some biscuits in, in your car and they get overheated? You know the biscuits I'm talking about you put in the oven, but you got to like twist that cardboard off of, poop, and they do like that. <laughs> she had done left them in the back seat. <laughs> it's old biscuits, man. Poop, pop. She thought. <laughs> Stop thinking the worst all the time, little lady. And little homie. See, fear is a mile wide and an inch deep. It's not even real. We consume ourselves so much thinking about the worst. What could go wrong? Instead of thinking about what could go right. And the enemy capitalizes on that. That little lady walking around thinking that all day long and that affected everything. It, it affected her communication, her relationship with everybody else. Because all she thinking is worst case scenarios. And how many of us is like that? Worst case scenarios. Boom. You go to work. You're thinking, I sure hope I don't get fired because I didn't do this right. I didn't do that right. I didn't do this right. I didn't do that right. And your friendship. You got me? Oh, I don't think they're going to like me no more. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't cool. I ain't this or whatever. In, in, in school, you making good grades, you get one B, one C, and one D. Or what? You're like, dang, man, my my parents ain't going to view me as a scholar no more. They ain't going to view me as this no more. My teachers are not going to do this. I'm. Hey, stop all that overthinking, man. You've been eating clean. And, and, and you know, you kind of messed up. You had some some bad food or whatever. You're thinking, oh, man, I'm, uh, I'm sloppy now. I'm this or what. Stop all that, man. Just get back on track. Yeah, you had a bad meal, but but let's bring it back. It's, it's no big deal. Don't sweat it. Don't live in the past. You got me? Sometimes we, we, we walk around with the prison of our mind all day long worrying about silly stuff, man. Thinking the, I'm talking about wor thinking the, thinking the worst case scenario in every single situation. Why we do that, man? Fear is false evidence appearing real. It's, it's not even real. Maybe you got a goal or a dream. Maybe may, maybe you got something God has placed on your heart for, for you to do or you to set out to accomplish. What we like to do. We're, first thing we're about is what everybody else going to think. 
Stop worrying about them and them and them. Worrying about the approval of others. Man, let me let, look. Can I be real with you? How much time you got? You got a couple more minutes? Hey, <laughs> appreciate you, man. You making time for your boy. Appreciate you, man. Listen, if I went around the world and asked everybody, hey, what you think about uh about me recording a video with a bag on my head? 99.999% of people say, I wouldn't do it, man, because you're gonna look crazy. People gonna think, you know, people gonna think you a little, you know, old. Stop worrying about the approval of others, man. And you do you. You do you, man. Be who you is. And boy, when you start walking boldly and being who you is, boy, the enemy looking at me say, I don't know how I'm going to attack them. I don't know how I'm going to attack them. They not in bondage in terms of the approval of others. They, they, they going after. They goes. They ain't worry about what people say. Don't worry about what people say. Let me tell you something about people. Don't rely on the affirmation or the approval of others. Because if you rely on that to bring you up, then by default, their criticism will bring you down. And you'll spend your whole life up, down, up, down. That's why people in terms of, let's say, these celebrities and stuff. One day they praising them. Oh, they make the best music. Oh, they're the best. They does the best. That or whatever. And as soon as they make uh, 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 one mistake, now everybody want to tear them down. Everybody trying to go viral by typing a, a, a long message about them, picking them apart. Boy, people up, down, up, down, up, down. But boy, push all that to the side and stop worrying about people and get into the presence of God and see what it is that he wants you to do. And you get busy living for him. Second Timothy 1 verse 7, what it say, D? I'm about to read it to you. Give me a second. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So see, fear ain't of God. That means it come from the devil. He's given us a sound mind. Oh, when we get into that word, boy, and break the strongholds of fear. It is only Jesus and his word that can boop, break that mental prison that the enemy's been having us in. It's because Jesus died on the cross for us and Jesus defeated the enemy. So you got to use his word boop, to break them chains. And now, boy, now you're walking in freedom. So freedom is only through Jesus Christ. Look, this is word right here. And see that back there? That's fear. You already know what I'm about to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what I need you to do today. Whatever you overthinking, whatever you overanalyzing, paralysis by analysis, you overthinking something so much to where it paralyzes you and you don't move on anything. Boy, stop living in fear. Anytime you feel fearful, F, you forgetting the goodness of God, E, you envisioning the worst and not the best. A, you've accepted defeat before the fight, or you've rejected God's way of doing it, which is standing on his word and choosing to walk by faith and not by sight and trusting more in God's ability to succeed rather than your own inability to fail. F-E-A-R also stands for forget everything and run. <laughs> it takes the same amount of energy and effort to run from something as it does to run towards it. So either way it go, you're running. So choose to run forward. Now we live in an F-E-A-R, God's way. That stands for face everything and rise. Because 1 John 4, 4 says, greater is he that's in me. Meaning Jesus on the inside, working on the outside, right? Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. That means the task that's in front of you is never greater than the power that's inside of you. Because it's Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. <laughs> Therefore, fear don't stand a chance. We walking by faith. That's forward action and trusting him. We moving forward. It also stands for fear ain't in this house. Look, I'm going to keep it real. I can't control who in the White House. All I can do is hit a button and do one vote. And I don't really do too much. You know what I'm saying? It's only so much I could do. I can't control who's in the White House, but I can control who's in my house. God is in my house because I invited him in. The word of God says he inhabits the praises of his people. I invited him in. So watch this. When you invite worship through the front door, when you invite faith through the front door of your mind, fear runs out the back door. Because faith and fear cannot inhabit the same place at the same time. It's impossible. So which one you want to stay? Invite worship in. Invite that word in. Just read that word out loud to yourself while you're driving. You stuck in traffic anyway like me. You might as well be repeating the word of God, listening to a sermon. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more words you know, the more dangerous you become to the enemy. The more truth you know, the more it exposes the lies in the enemy. Boy, you get a hold of some truth. You look around and say, hold on. So this was a lie. That was a lie. That was a lie. That was a lie. Yeah, you've been deceived. 
The word of God is the truth, boy. You start popping balloons everywhere, man. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to pop the balloon, dog. This probably going to wake my daughter up, so it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is what that word do, boy. <laughs> Every day I wake up, I pop any balloon that's trying to hold me down. I pop it with the word of God. Speak the word of God to your situation and you can receive victory right now. Because victory is not something you achieve like a goal. No, victory is something you receive as a gift because of he in whom you believe to be your savior. Therefore, we don't fight this fight for the position of victory. No, we fight it from the position of victory. Because we already victorious through Jesus Christ. You got to step out and use his word. Because it is possible to live fear free in a fear filled world. Fear can be here. Fear can be there. Fear can be everywhere. But see you. You walking by faith and not fear. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video. I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I will not live in fear. Because that's right. You ain't going to live in fear. I'm about to put this in my pocket man. I'm keep it. You ain't going to live in fear. Nah, man. You walking by faith. You got me? Keep on walking with God. You can't lose when you go with God. All right? Also, my 31-day devotional is out now. Link is in the information section. 31 days. It's called Thirsty for That Word. I encourage you to get it on pre-order right now. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.